you and jagruti ma'am both since both of you are working with the government colleges fine and so what meer sir rightly said that there's three questions why what and how so he has uh, really very beautifully has explained how do you look at this three questions so do you really think that this orientation kind of thing will work uh, with the students uh, actually uh, we do try formally and informally to orient students hmm. first as all of us feel and know hmm. that students actually they are not interested in learning language because ah. as we have rightly realized that they do feel that this is not our technical subject and it is going to be there only for one semester so hmm. fine we would be doing that for that as a part of remedy we have started with remedial classes also okay. gtu has taken initiative through bridge course but more or less we are going to teach them grammar and uh, you know basic uh, parts of the english language yes but what i feel and what i have seen my students they are even if learning that they are not able to communicate their issues yes. communicate their ideas even if they are very good with their ideas hmm. so i feel that uh, as it is mentioned quite uh, hmm. for few times now that curriculum should include uh, at the intervals regular english teaching hmm. but uh, the teaching should be in such a way that it should connect them with their engineering subjects hmm. like maybe in higher semesters we can uh, go by their engineering subject including uh, creating some link with communication and and then they might realize that what is an importance of language okay. in their own subject so that they might be aware about the importance hmm. and proper use of a language that they are learning hmm. uh i think we are already discussing we have been discussing this why question i would i would like to come to the other questions but before i would like uh, to request jagruti ma'am to throw some light on this well i would uh, like to agree as well as would like to add that uh, we are talking about student orientation hmm. but the ship can be navigated only when the hmm. sailors are themselves yes, yes, strong yes so i would like True. to add a point that fdp for teachers hmm. means the faculties who are teaching communication skills with the help of language or mm. they are teaching language with the help of communication skills mm. this is something to be taught even to the faculties who are taking classes in uh, various colleges mm. first thing second thing is i would agree with pooja madam as well as meher sir that there is a continuous learning of language is required and for that reason there should be instead of one lecture in a uh, class right a simple lecture method there should be uh, more than one hour but in a continuous way so that students can have repo with the teachers as well as students can learn in a group if they wish to yes. have the activity based learning okay <clears throat> thank you uh, mihir sir uh, we have been discussing problems and uh, there is much of should be kind of thing is there uh, i would like to ask you one question Uh, from my side particularly as a teacher also that i also feel but i would like you to throw some more light on that that the problems which uh, we have listed since the beginning of this panel discussions mm. do you really think that these are the problems which we or the students are facing no. see uh, when we talk of uh, language acquisition mm. what uh, what you need as i did mention in the uh, opening remark also that we need an environment an environment can never be created by hmm. couple of uh, say faculties which are uh, cs and that to the contact are is very limited now when you see the due importance given to a subject we will find the iits and iim the same iits and iim giving master degree and doctorate degree in uh, say specialization english courses which is unthinkable now in engineering colleges why because in engineering colleges it is again a kind of a myth or a misnomer that uh, it's absolutely okay for uh, you to be technically sound and it's okay if you are dull here i would like to draw your attention that uh, uh, in the harvard university hmm. in 2012 they had a kind of a survey when they surveyed uh, their uh, previous 10 batches of the highly successful uh, say technical uh, pass out students of there and they came up with this survey <coughs> wherein they mentioned and they asked very fundamental question mm. that why or, or what what uh, say say credit do you give to your success mm. uh, to your domain knowledge say for example i am from civil engineering then my domain knowledge is civil engineering mm. and to soft skills 
or the kinds of communication skill life skills so where 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 do you uh, uh, give the weightage and surprisingly the result came that only 12 percentage of uh, their success uh, credit goes to their domain knowledge okay. domain knowledge is important but not more than 12 and they gave the emphasis to the communication skill the life skill their soft skills with because of these skills they said that they could get success what they have so it means now, humanity has a role to play and it is now uh, being uh, proven it has been emphasized time and again that yes. you have to take care of this yes. or else with the best of the uh, technical knowledge you will not be in position to communicate hmm. and ultimately if it is not communicated and you have uh, fairly good knowledge hmm. then it will be like you know saying that operation was successful but the patient died yes which is which yes. is a, a a loss in itself yes and it yes. is actually so that uh, english is always or uh, in that sense any other language can never be in isolation it is always interdisciplinary kind of thing because it includes so many other aspects of your life as you said that uh, soft skills and other technical knowledge students would be definitely of any stream would be definitely be more effective and properly communicating things if he is he or she is well versed with the ideas well versed with the language and grammar of any type then i think it would be of a more help what you rightly pointed out sir one more point that uh, that constantly comes to my mind and uh, i would like all of you to give your uh, ample uh, opinion on that that time and again i have heard faculty saying that students are not interested in english correct and then ultimately when uh, when the when the when they reach on their last semesters and when the interviews are there uh, companies are coming for their interviews and then they suddenly realize that oh english is english was really important and then i have seen students running for the spoken english local spoken english classes mm -hmm. so means uh, how as a teacher we should look at this particular issues and what what can be the possible remedies to orient the students with this particular kind of thing that instead of running towards the uh, means outsiders what can we do in college itself on campus as sir rightly said that fine orientation is one kind of scope but still students as dhwani, dhwani ma'am also rightly said that students are taking english just as a subject they are not taking it uh, means the practical orientation you know i hope what do i what do i mean you you understand that so i would like you to and yes uh, one more thing that in since you, both of you are working with the marwadi so we would like to know that what practices you you have adopted or whether you have implemented on the students so i think it would be helpful to the viewers i would like to say first of all it is a myth that uh, students are not interested hmm. in learning a language they are very much interested Before but most of the time it uh, uh, the problem uh, uh, problem faced by the student is they come from a vernacular uh, yeah. background yes. and that is why initially they find a problem so they uh, they they hesitate to speak and that's why some of the impression is created that they are not interested in learning mm -hmm. but if enough of motivation in a right direction is provided they do want to learn mm -hmm. and they learn mm -hmm. and they learn mm -hmm. so uh, orientation uh, is required as uh, we right uh, as we said mm -hmm. now how to uh, orient them i would say that syllabus uh, has a boundary it is limited okay. but always teacher has to put in extra efforts yeah we have to go beyond True. so uh, only uh, we have to first understand that learning does not just take uh, takes place in a classroom hmm. we have to take our classroom outside also when we talk about learning hmm. uh, as uh, dhwani ma'am also said that uh, it is an uh, era of uh, interdisciplinarity language cannot be learned in uh, learn in isolation okay. so if ambiance is created environment is created uh, learner learns language automatically hmm. we are just facilitators we just uh, facilitate them to learn a language okay. so uh, the thing is that uh, in uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create an environment where they can learn a language okay uh, um, now jagruti ma'am here the word environment is there fine again i would like you to uh, <laughs> means how do you look at this word uh, i would uh, like to say that uh, mountain cannot come to mulla mm -hmm. mulla has to okay. go to mountain okay. so it is student who has to create that environment they have to take interest they have to be in the company or say for example when you ask for the best practices huh. so one thing that 
that have been done and that should be done uh, in institution is there should be something called english club okay where the teachers would not enter in that club but let the students play hmm. they interact with those students who are good with language so that there is a like mindedness will help them to be hmm. creative at their own level say for example sometimes it happens that students are afraid of teachers and that is why they do not share hmm. the problems or they are they are sometimes hesitant to ask what is the meaning of this word or hmm. how this is to be said hmm. but they will learn this thing if they, this is something called english club and if they have interactions among themselves hmm. second thing is uh, i as i mentioned about activity based learning hmm. uh, teachers it it's up to teacher how to make your subject interesting hmm. so i would say that uh, act, audio video activities one minute games for vocabulary hmm. everything will make your teaching hmm. very interesting which will hmm. gradually lead the students yes. towards to creating the interest in the subject hmm. and it will the very first and foremost thing is to start building confidence in student and then they will start believing in themselves okay this is not an alien language and i can yeah. hmm. i can participate and from the base it it should be taken in this way so i this, think this this english club and activity base means uh, this all the actions that you are talking about yes. so it will take as pooja ma'am rightly said that only syllabus will not work yes so teacher, teacher has, has to, to go, add some extra teacher has efforts. to go beyond the class as huh. real study begins outside the class huh. Uh, Dhoni, ma'am, uh, you yes. must have heard many a times that whenever we talk of such activities in colleges, mm. many things stop us to do. Like this, you know, English club is being talked about. Yeah. Then movie club is being talked about. No doubt, students will learn a lot. How do you look at this issue? See, uh, as syllabus, teachers and students have their limitations. Even yes, we do confess that authorities and system has few drawbacks. Mm. But at the same time, uh. teacher or a student as a group as a team should keep going on because at times creativity uh, new practices best practices do die just as a plan or just as a good idea which would be appreciated by the authorities your colleagues your students even and you would yourself feel that oh i could think of something best but because of the weight that you are doing for the authority or the sanction or the funds that should not kill your creativity or the motivation for doing good to your students as jagruti ma'am rightly said at the root level or the basic level we should make our students feel comfortable that yes i can do it we are i mean as a teacher because we know a bit better than them or slightly higher than them we might be very impatient if they commit mistake or they are not learning okay. once or no. twice or thrice yes so we don't have time actually hmm. we said that i would have to go some other place i am yeah. supposed to do admin job Many barriers, so what problems will stop yes you. so okay. at times maybe in a week a teacher can have more contact hours or hmm. extended ex, uh, contact hours with the students hmm. also i would say that uh, we have assessment system with the projects yes. then their presentations then their viva and written exam yes. so more focus then so written exam should be given to their work, uh, writing and speaking skills hmm. so even listening so the projects or the activities that we are saying we keep on announcing that it should be active based learning hmm. but how would a student participate in the activity hmm. if you don't give them options hmm. so i would say that the projects or the activities that we are giving them for the assessment yes. should be more of a creative type and of their interest so that they can come up with good ideas because okay. students are really of that caliber that they do take interest and they present something wow <coughs> and okay. such projects and activities will help them increasing their search increasing their you know interest and they would come with so good things hmm. that they can be projected as good models or good ideas okay fine now uh, i just would like to draw please. your attention to the topic what we are discussing is uh, problems and remedies of uh, hmm. teaching english and yes. technical education hmm. and what i feel is here lies the problem what's the problem is that technical education has a specific requirement it yes. has a specific need Correct. and somehow uh, somewhere it is missing 
that what is the specific need of technical education teaching of english in hmm. technical education hmm. if that is identified correctly yes. and accordingly it is imparted okay. then the problem uh, means it will be solved what identified i feel is identified on identify in the sense that students should identify or faculties should identify yes i think yeah. uh, to blame <coughs> something on or to blame or to give cause to students would hmm. be i think injustice yes. to students because they are receivers Yes. they will receive what is given to them yes. as an environment as an individual hmm. so when we are talking about that you know if if student is developed it is because of him i think it is uh, a half truth there is something called identifying a specific purpose as we were uh, rightly uh, puja ma'am said that uh, english for specific purpose you cannot and should not teach the same uh, way english to doctor yes. the same way you teach yeah. to an engineer Very because true. they are hmm. going to use their language differently hmm. so there has to be a specific requirement even before that i believe that on next to your orientation program what you need to do is there is something called need analysis mm. there is a major problem that we face is because of a uh, kind of variety of students we have in the same class yes. right and what we are offering is one size fits all yes which obviously not going to work when you are talking about uh, let's say giving a same test to an elephant to a fish and to a sparrow so that is in- injustice to all three of them yes so when we are talking about need need analysis i think uh, right after the orientation if you can spend uh, some yes. quality time with your students and you can identify the levels which yes. is easily available and i'm sure we are going to talk in next session something called european framework and yes. uh, mm-hmm. the the need based analysis wherein you can level them that okay right. that student belongs to which level mm-hmm. so there are ways like diagnostic tests uh, can be organized mm-hmm. because of this diagnostic test you will come to know that okay out of 60 students only these many students need the basic uh, say fundamental uh, grammar and composition uh, kinds of exercise rest of them are <coughs> having comparatively better exposure to language so they should be given higher activity so when when we are planning the activities for our students then we need to check the level also mm-hmm. because the the activity that would work very well with one group may fail with the other mm-hmm. the difference would be basically because of the difference of level one right. second it would be also because of their interest the storytelling for example may work very well with one group mostly with the uh, say say girl students in our class which may not work with the boys right mm-hmm. so there you need to come up with uh, the the different choice of it in horizontal and vertical right. both ways correct vertical in terms of what level he or she belongs yes, yes. right and accordingly you group them mm-hmm. right and there uh, i i think you were talking about the monetary and the permission kind of a limitation when you go out of the class but within the class you are the king or the queen mm-hmm. yes. and if so why don't you utilize your class that okay for these kinds of activity this is for level 1 this is for level 2 yeah mm-hmm. actually i would like to uh, add that uh, in one of my writing skills classes uh, i had tried to you know uh, give them few points